Sydney property boom. Is it coming or is it already here? In today's video, we're gonna to go to a little bit deeper dive onto this and explain where Sydney is sitting at in terms of on the growth cycle. Guys, if you're new to the channel, my name's Julian. I'm the head of strategy here at Ripe House. And today we're just gonna to touch on Sydney a little bit. We get asked about Sydney probably more than any other state across the country. Obviously, one of the most populated states in the country. And people are kind of asking, where is Sydney at? They've seen it come off the back of the biggest decline last year, and that was heavily driven off the back of rising interest rates. And that is to be expected um, in property terms, like property in general is a pretty stable asset, but the more expensive the property is, which guess what, a lot of the expensive properties will happen to be in Sydney, the more volatile the property gets. And that's mainly because if you've got two, three, four million dollar properties, there's only a certain percentage of the population that can afford them. Lo and behold, most people have lost 40, 50, potentially 60% of their borrowing capacity over the last two years. All of a sudden, your multi-million dollar properties, there are less people that are able to afford and buy them. So they went through the biggest decline Confidence comes back into the market though, because supply, we need to remember that supply is still critically low and demand was still high, but confidence was really, really shot. Confidence started to come back in the market and lo and behold, Sydney has gone through another boom and is going to continue to go through another boom. As we see here, Sydney's been one of the, the better growing markets. I believe it may be second or third to Perth at the moment, but Sydney's going through a bit of a dramatic price rise. And now there's already naysayers saying that Sydney's going to collapse in terms of into the next finance, into next year, because it's already gone through a bit of a boom period. But here at an advisory level, um, just off the back of a really fresh data update, I can assure you that pretty much all of our data is showing that Sydney is sitting really, really strongly at the moment. There are particular pockets in Sydney, um, more toward, if you're looking for your really high end of town, your northern suburbs, your kind of ride locations, they are looking really strong. But if you're looking for affordable suburbs, and I should, <laughs> should preface it in terms that's affordable for Sydney price points, your places like Blacktown and Liverpool, those local government areas, are looking extremely strong from an algorithmic perspective and in terms of the growth indicators, the demand is very, very high in those areas. Good infrastructure, there's land scarcity there now, still decent proximity to the Sydney location. Those two locations are at an affordable price point. You will have to make the sacrifice on yield you're still looking at around about kind of three to three and a half percent yield price point in those markets. But again, from all the data we're seeing, Sydney is going to continue to boom. There's going to be more pockets that outperform the others, but Sydney at the moment, Blacktown, Liverpool, that kind of ride LGA up, up the top there are looking very, very strong. So ignore the naysayers. Sydney's got a big tick in us for us for this year. Potentially Melbourne will lag in in the next six to nine months, potentially. But at the moment, Sydney's looking far stronger than Melbourne. Guys, I hope you found today informative. If you've got any thoughts on this, please leave a comment below. If you're not already, please make sure you're following me on LinkedIn. From 2024, we'll be releasing a lot more data, research and reports on that forum as well. If you're not already, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching today and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.